Mr Keating, thanks for joining us. It'll be a pleasure not to be here. The Gospel according to Paul, is this the autobiography you always said you'd never write? <sighs> no, 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 not at all. I, uh, I agree with the late, great Samuel Goulburn who said that uh, no one should write an autobiography until after they're dead. Now this is uh, simply an opportunity to remind people what political courage looks like, what leadership looks like. I mean, there are generations born in this country who labour under the misapprehension that Malcolm Turnbull is a leader. You know, he couldn't lead a Mardi Gras parade if he was Ian Thorpe wearing a bikini. So no insights into your life, your history? Well, yes, in so much as I provide a context to illustrate the profound depths of my contribution to the public life of this nation. Uh, so basically, we'll be starting at Bankstown, 1944, and going on from there. But don't hold your breath waiting for anything about my family. They are strictly off limits. I signed up for the public spotlight, not them. That glare, that relentless intrusion, I never asked for it, never wanted it. You know, I was talked into doing a, a spread at the lodge for the Women's Weekly, you know, like that was going to help with the recalibration of monetary policy and those jumpers, Jesus. You know, who thought the festive knitwear was a good idea? I look like the illegitimate son of Al Grasby and Jenny Keyes. Paul Keating, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, don't forget to uh, read out the dates and the ticket prices. <laughs>